Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Bukhari, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add the contents in the slide up down navigation project. Okay, so that we have created before, All right? So let's go to the folder where we have our okay this is the one let's see the other one okay this is the one let's open this file okay it's live this is the project we created right so if it is in the mobile it will be it will be having this uh, hamburger, hamburger approach menu navigation menu okay and then when it is in the tablet or iPad devices it will be like this and in the desktop it will be also like this yeah and we want to add content and we want when we click on this button when the menu slides down we want to push the contents down as well okay that's the main purpose of this video that is the that is the tutorial we're going to create here okay so um let's do it shall we okay so back to our code just after the nav just insert a div class called content Close it like so and give it a header, heading to tag, and also write the title of this tutorial. Okay, uh, that's not necessary, but I'm going to do it for the sake of this tutorial. Okay, so it makes more, more, more sense. All right, so um, slide up, down, navigation. navigation with boost content okay and just to put that I'm going to add a paragraph tag and within there I'm going to um, add some lorem some texts so let me grab the texts from here close it and we're back in our project okay just add the text in the paragraph tags okay there we go so we have now we have our uh, content in our page right with the navigation so navigation is performing its task precisely and now that we want our contents to be pushed when this navigation slides down okay so to do that let's go back to the split mode port view mode okay so to do that we simply have to uh, first we need to work with the content all right div class content we need to give it a um, some styling okay so um, within here content the color brackets give these a width 100% and give it a margin as well auto and also give it the content positioning absolute property okay this is important absolute okay all right so um so far so good but we need to do the main thing this line okay this is the magic part so we need to do it one more time so pound sign menu toggle when the menu toggle then menu toggle colon then checked so what it's what it means that when the menu toggle that means this icon okay so when the menu toggle is checked or clicked okay so the when the menu toggle is checked or clicked do what 
then space then combinator then basically when the menu toggle is checked combine this item okay so we're going to work with the content right so and we are also going to give it some positioning um, some property all right so positioning position will be absolute and it is going to slide from the top okay so um, top value you need to put top 51 pixel or 50 maybe 55 pixels okay or maybe 60 pixels okay so 60 pixels and then close it and we're done so press refresh if we click the um, navigation it slides down a little bit um, we need to give more values so um, 60 is not enough in there so put 160 there you go that's too much but it's working okay so we get the idea so let's give like 100 so um, to make it um, a nice transition we need to add a line sing simple line we simply we're simply going to copy this from the menu so transition all this line okay but we also need the vendor prefix codes webkit mos ms and opera okay so that it works across all the browsers okay so i'm simply going to copy this copy from the menu and i'm going to add this in the content content class okay here all right there you go and we're done there you go so when the um menu is sliding down from the top so is the uh, contents okay all right so we also see this see that it is also jumping to the top and that's because let's fix that so um we need to give in the content class we need to give a top position okay from the top like um 60 pixels okay let's do it refresh so it is a little bit pushed down from there already okay so we there you go the problem solved okay so um maybe we will have some padding in there okay more space in there <coughs> so to do that we need to add like 120 pixels okay so there we go so this is perfect so this is working exceptionally right there you go so let's see it in design view so our menu is pushing menu is sliding down from the top okay and so is the uh, contents okay so it's working just at, as it should be so when and then check it in the uh, mobile view okay looking great and also in the mobile view in the mobile so in the media queries okay it is only sliding from the top only 120 pixels but in the in the media queries we need to give this a different value top value okay higher higher value so so we need to give the content in the media query content top uh, it is going to be 300 50 pixels okay so it will be pushed basically minus so um, 
we just have to reverse this okay so nothing to worry so normally it will be like this but it's too much we want it to uh, go to like 100 pixels it is already there we don't need that um, what we need here is that okay we just need to you know what we need to copy this line okay and we need to add this in the media queries okay okay so from the top it will be 350 pixels so when the menu toggle is checked in the mobile view okay it will be pushed from that from that from from top okay 350 pixels let's check it there you go there you go okay so excellent so we need to give more space in there so 3 uh, like 70 excellent okay there you go there you have it that's how you create beautiful slide up down navigation with post content okay there you go so to summarize the video the tutorial we simply had to add this um, div class content and within there we added history element and paragraph that's it and you can add anything okay and in the CSS we just had to style the content okay and we just had to write this code simply this one menu toggle checked then combine combine content and then we give this position absolute and top value 120 okay and then in the media queries okay we simply had to add this line that's it we had same code but top value is different okay so from the top 370 pixels and that's it that's how we created it fixed it okay there we go so I hope you liked it I hope you learned something from this and I hope that you had fun learning this okay so let's check it in Safari so let's save as so um, this is also version version 2.1 navigation responsive navigation with pushed content there you go there you go so let's check it in safari there you go our slide navigation sliding down from the top and the content as well okay so this is exceptional working precisely working everything as it should be is working everything is working just fine but let's check it in the mobile view yep as it should be there you go excellent so there you go you have the final project here and it's really ready to use and you can customize the styling of the contents images videos whatever yeah it's totally up to you I just showed you how to push thing from the top and bottom okay there you go so there we have it so um, if you like this video if it helped you at all if it inspired you please give this video a like and be sure to make comments please let me know what what's, what's your experience with this tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there are so many cool stuffs are coming okay so stay tuned so thank you for watching thank you for being here thank you for your time thank you for your presence i really appreciate it take care bye